Blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Heka. I'm Lady Amaris. Now today I'm going to show you a, uh, a car protection, we could call it a mojo bag, we could call it a witch's bag, just a little, little goodie bag um, that um, you'll be able to, to place in your car that will help to, to keep it safe and uh, keep it running. Now I, I've recently purchased a new car after having my old car for, for quite a number of years and uh, I used to joke that my car was just held together by uh, sheer will and spells, um, which is quite, quite true actually. The car was well beyond its use by date and uh, I think uh, the fact that I was willing it to, to keep going all that time uh, um, was a testament to, to my little uh, mojo bag that I had in, in my car. So we're going to make one today. Now this is um, just a variation of what I actually do put into mine. Um, so I've just mixed it up a little bit. So this isn't exactly what I do. Uh, this is just to give you a little bit of, a, bit of an idea. Now firstly I've got a little bag, a little pouch. Now you can make your little pouch. Let's have a look. You can make your little pouch. This one here um, I got from a metaphysical store. I think what they usually do is, um, I'll move that candle out of the way because it's burning my hand. Um, what they usually do in the, for these little bags, you put little stones and little things in and then you can um, put it around your neck and, and have the stone of helping you for, for healing and stuff. But I'm going to use this little bag because I think it's quite nice. It's quite small and it'll fit nicely into the, the console of um, of a car. So I've got that. We also have here we have just a little bit of mugwort. We have a little bit of um, again I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation cinterfoil or five fingers grass. We have a little bit here and close. A little bit of dragon's blood, so just a little chunk of dragon's blood. We also have um, some rock salt. Now um, you can have any colour salt. Now I've used the pink Himalayan rock salt because I like the pink colour. I'm thinking that the colour pink is a, a nice almost a feminine colour but it also has that feeling of safe and warmth um, where you want to have your car wrapped in some a warm bubble of, of safeness. Um, I have some juniper berries. I have a um, acorn. Oops. <laughs> a jumping bean actually. I have an acorn. Now the little, little top that you usually see on an acorn is missing but it's still quite a, a good little acorn. Now, acorns are usually for protection, but um, most of the time it's for protection against lightning. Now, I've got this here because lightning is that out of the blue um, scenario that, that you're not even thinking of. So it is protection from that car that comes from the side street or that person that, uh, that tries to cut you off. Those, those un it's those, those things that you aren't planned for, those out of the blue, out of the side street, um, little accidents that, that, that usually happen. I have two pieces here of mandrake. Okay. I have one of the little crystals that I purchased the other day and a nice little piece of cinnamon. Okay, I'm not going to use all of that. And lastly, I have some cotton, so some black, some black cotton. Now, what are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to place it all in the bag, pretty much. Now, firstly, what we'll do is each item you would charge as you place it into the bag. 
okay now I'll just run you through what um, what we're going to do and then I will um, I'll go through it and I uh, will see the finished bag so you have your your crystal now this is going to be your um, your centerpiece it's going to be your charging it's going to be your battery and uh, if you watched my previous video um, you would know that uh, quartz crystals are really really good for uh, programming so you think of them as a, a blank CD or a blank DVD or one of those little um, little jump drives, little uh, portable hard drives that you can place information on um, and you can also take information off so you can use it over and over and over again. So this is going to be our little central piece where the intent will be programmed into the crystal and then the other pieces will also be there to add um, energy to the piece but this will be the focal piece which will have the the main intent programmed into it so we program our little crystal we also have our little pieces now what we're going to do here with our mandrake is we're going to form an equal armed cross well as as much as we can and we're going to do that with our twine or our cotton. Now we've got black cotton so black is the colour for absorbing negativity or absorbing um, absorbing malicious um, energies so it is a, about taking all of those, absorbing them and then obviously converting them. Now easier is if we have one piece there you go so you have your equal armed cross with your black cotton or twine now you can use any kind of um, sticks from any branch of any tree that you find um, quite protective um, so I've used mandrake here, but you can use any. So we put this aside while we're uh, looking at our other bits and pieces. Now, what you would do is, again, you would charge your crystal. So you charge your crystal with the intent that you would like. So you would see your car, you would look at your car from every angle. You would walk around your car and see that it is strong and sturdy and no dings, no dents. And you would see your car almost enveloped in, in a ball so that if anything came towards it, anything tried to bump it, it would, it would just bounce off, just like a ball bouncing on the road. It would bounce off and just not, not touch your car in any way. You see that in that, in that ball of light, that, that spongy ball, that anything tried to touch it would bounce off. And you see yourself sitting in the car, driving the car, and you see yourself just being able to drive and having green lights, having cars just seem to move out of your way, must be clear, run. And then when you feel that your crystal has been programmed enough, you will then start to place your uh, bits and pieces into the uh, into the pouch but what I'm going to do I 
is also just wrap around the crystal. You can do it as many times as you like. And again, we'll give it a little bit of a snip. And we'll tie that knot. There we go. Again, you can see that we have it tied. And we have a nice little, a longer little piece. Now we have our two pieces. We have our crystal and we have our cross. We have our knot tied. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go, and our two pieces. So now we go about placing it into the bag. So what we do is we put a few pinches of mugwort okay, three pinches of mugwort and then we place three pinches of our five finger glass now a lot of the herbs that are used for protection are also used for prosperity. So what you would like is to have your car to be safe, but you would also like your car to be able to move through traffic, to have uh, a prosperous run, so to speak. Okay, we have our dragon's blood, which is going to add a bit of fiery protection. Place that into the little bag as well. We have our juniper berries. Now I have one's gone a bit AWOL, but I have nine juniper berries which we'll place also into our bag. Now, what you would also do is make sure that you have placed your intent into each piece. If you like, you can just place them in and then place your intent into all at once. It is up to you. We have our salt. So salt is a universal protectant. And the pink colour, as I said, is not only to protect but to, to wrap and to, and to hold in a, in a nice pots and our equal arm cross. So what you will do is before you place it into the bag, you also anoint these and just give them one last little little off. So you will anoint them with some kind of protection oil. So this is so that it's protected. So that's why the light's shine now. It is protected and it acts as a protection. And then also you would put some kind of road opener oil. So you can have like van van oil or any type of road opener oil that you may have, may have yourself or may have purchased. But this is again to, to allow that when you're, you know, when you're driving that you have a smooth, safe, clear run. It's almost as if the cars move out of your way. You get all the green lights. Everything just flows. That's done. Again, you place it into your bag of goodies. Okay. 
So we have our bag full of full of goodies. Now when you just pull it shut. Now if you feel the need at any time after you've done this and you want to just place a few more drops of oil in at various times just to just to just to sweeten it up a little bit more, just to, to give it a little bit more energy and, and if you feel that it's it's kind of running a little bit low. So you can just open up this little bag and you can put just one, two, three, And then pull. So then, if you need to, you can pull just a little bit. And you can drop a few bits of oil down in that hole. Okay, so it's nice and safe and you can put that in your console and uh, you'll be safe in the knowledge that your car is protected at all times. I hope that you find that fun. Give it a go. Blessed be. Send that beautiful energy up into the heavens. It's another very powerful cleansing incense that's often used by witches is dragon's blood. Dragon's blood, when it goes onto the chakra,